Obviously, I'm um, very pleased to get that win out of the way, especially with uh, with my tips splitting towards the end. You know, I just wanted to get out of there and, and get a new one on and, and prepare for the quarterfinals. Um, I feel like the damage was done this morning when I, I finished that session 11-5 up and um, against Jamie, you know, he's a very capable match player that's had a fantastic week. So, um, you know, a very pleasing scoreline for me. And obviously, as you say, your tip obviously split. Last year it happened against John, so you're just sort of in the same situation, but you've got a few days this time at least. I'm starting to think I'm a bit cursed here, you know. Um, no, you know, I, I learned from that. Um, I like to play with a low tip. I feel like I get more feel on the ball and um, I can sort of predict the throw of the side a little bit more. And, um, you know, maybe it's something I need to look at because this has happened twice now, but um, I was actually prepared for this time around. I, I took the Masters final tip off and um, that's going to go straight on the queue. And, you know, I've got plenty of belief in that. So, um, you know, I'm glad I've done it. Obviously, we saw today Ronnie was the latest seed to be out on the Sheffield scrap heap. Do you think everyone in the tournament will fancy their chance with how many top players have gone out? Um, yeah, I mean, for me, it doesn't change a thing. You know, you're playing the best of 25 match. If you don't come out on top, then you were the weaker player during that time. So, um, you know, whoever has come through is going to be more on form. Um, they've all been there and done it before. Everybody's got plenty of experience that's left in. So, um, yeah, it's still going to be a very tough tournament to win. And obviously, Mark Allen next. If no one needs to remind you as a repeat of the Masters final. It could be a real cracker, guys, couldn't it? Yeah, I, f I think we always have good games. We had a fantastic game here a couple of years ago in, in the last 16, I think it was. Um, and yeah, he obviously beat me in the, in the Masters final. So, um, a game that I'm really going to look forward to. Um, a very good match player, a lovely fella. Um, so yeah, let it let it crack on. Betfred, proud sponsor of the World Snooker Championship.